Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about another skin related video. This is one on how to clear up our acne, you know, through lifestyle and diet kind of changes. And also like skin care and things like that. Like different techniques that you guys can use to, you know, clear up acne scars, clear up your acne on your face. All from like doing natural, kind of healthy things. And like they're so easy to do. Like you can just add it to your daily routine. It's like boom, done. And your skin will just benefit so much from it. So without any more rambling or talking, let's get straight into it. So my number one tip on how to get rid of acne through these lifestyle changes is completely cut out dairy. With dairy, the reason why I say cut out dairy completely is because of the growth hormones in dairy. So naturally dairy is a, like dairy milk is a baby cow's growth like milk. That's how I get nice and big and strong and really bulk up really, really quickly. But because we aren't baby cows, the growth hormone targets our oil glands. So this causes the, um, the oil glands to pump out extra sebum oil, which thus causes, you know, more likeliness for the pores to get blocked, clogged, and then cause the acne. So the growth hormone also causes skin cells to multiply quite quickly, and that causes it more likeliness to clog the pores, and coupled with that oil, that extra oil production, with the multiplying skin cells, which causes them to get stuck together because they're growing so quickly, it's going to block up your pores, cause that acne flare up in your skin and, you know, have that horrible cystic acne and everything like that. So that's why I do recommend you cut out dairy completely because you don't want the growth hormones, you know, causing your oils to go, go berserk and then get the extra multiplying skin cells happening, sticking together and then clogging your pores. So these milk hormones can also cause your inflammation levels to rise which thus causes your acne breakouts or your, you know, your, just your breakouts in general to look more inflamed, more red and more swollen. So if you guys want to try it out, try eliminating dairy completely for 30 days. So all cheese, all milk, all creams, all yogurts, just cut out dairy from any packaged foods. And if your skin clears up, it means dairy has been causing your breakouts to really become inflamed and just cause your breakouts in general. If you don't see a difference or much of a difference that it may be causing, your acne may be caused by one of these other issues that we're going to talk about. If you guys can't cut out dairy milk, then I, I recommend you sourcing it from good quality organic grass-fed cows because that's where the high quality milk is going to be. It's not going to have all these other things like um, antibiotics that they feel the cat feed the cows. You know, all these horrible things that will cause your acne as well. You want to try and source it from organic high quality places so if you guys can't cut out dairy then try and find a better quality number two is your sugar intake sugar in general is like an enemy for your skin and your overall body health as well sugar is essentially a chemical and it attacks your vital organs within your body and it causes your insulin levels and your blood sugar to rise so naturally we're not supposed to be ingesting a lot of sugar but because back in the primal days we would have just had berries and things that you could get on trees and they wouldn't have been overly sweet either they would have been more bitter but due to you know GMOing you know um, farming practices and just our lifestyle these days there is more sugar in a lot of packaged foods and in fruit so we're consuming sugar left right and center it just seems to be in a lot of products so sugar like I said raises your insulin levels your body's insulin levels raise to try and digest and break down that sugar this also causes our IGF um, levels to rise as well which reach eventually reaches our oil glands our sebaceous glands which causes more oil production so it causes the sebaceous gland to pump out more sebum oil which then is causing us to have a likelier chance of our, our pores being blocked. So switching to low glycemic foods will help immensely. There is a great alternative to sugar called stevia. It's a plant sugar. You want to source out natural organic stevia. Not ones with added multidextrin or dextrose or you know, most of those common ones. Anything with like added sugar bases, you don't want to um, get that kind. You want to get the natural organic stevia. So stevia is naturally sweeter than normal sugar. It has zero calories, um, has zero glycemic um, index and stops that insulin. It doesn't cause the insulin level to rise, causing, you know, acne. Number three is exercising and hydration. 
Sweating and hydrating ourselves and increasing that blood pressure through our body is going to help encourage that oxygen flow around the body and encourage our bodies to absorb more nutrients effectively. And sweating is going to help your body excrete the toxins and unwanted things from our body and also help us to drink more, so flushing out the toxins that way as well through the kidneys. She's going to help flush out these toxins from our body, which do cause, you know, acne and breakouts and skin issues and things like that. So I do recommend trying to work out three to four times a week to help this, like, function going, to help sweat it out, to help hydrate yourselves, to just help that um, oxygen flow through your body and your body to absorb the nutrients and use it more effectively towards where it needs to, like helping, you know, clear your skin and things like that. Number four is sleep. So not only does lack of sleep impair our concentration, it actually also causes our body to have a harder, harder time repairing and rejuvenating the things that it needs to during the night. So our body is constantly repairing and regenerating new skin cells. It's fighting off, you know, bacteria, viruses, you know, free radicals. It's constantly doing these things. And at night, it does this really, really site specifically. And when we are getting to sleep late or we're not getting the proper amount of hours we're not falling into that deep repairing rejuvenating sleep so we're not allowing our body to heal itself and to rejuvenate those skin cells so I recommend you guys getting about eight hours of sleep that's about the rule of thumb it varies from person to person the more time that you go to sleep before 12 a.m. the deeper the more likely a chance you're gonna fall into that deep sleep so tip number is it six are we up to six now I think it's is it five or six? So the next tip is makeup. So some foundations are more likely to clog your pores than other foundations and skin products. It is uh, kind of up to personal preference what you guys feel works better for you than others. I know with me, like the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation clogs my pores and like causes me to break out and others don't seem to have that issue. So it is up to personal preference what you guys feel works better for your skin. So the number one tip I can give you with makeup is not to wear makeup to bed. So some of my friends do this because they don't even realise but when we're having this stuff sitting on our skin, it's going to clog our pores, it's soaking into our bloodstream and it's being transferred around the body. So you want to make sure that you're only wearing your makeup when you need to and you're taking it off when you don't need to wear it anymore. So you're allowing your skin to breathe. It also ages your skin if you wear makeup to bed. And honey, being in the beauty industry, we're constantly trying not to age. So you want to do the take the best measures you can to keep your skin looking young and healthy. So just cleaning your skin, having a nice little routine after you've worn makeup for the day is a great little tip to add to your, you know, daytime, nighttime routine. So being acne prone, I've had to really have an in-depth cleaning routine. I've linked it in my naturally curing acne video if you guys want to check it out. I'll leave it linked down below. But um, you know, you're gonna to have to find a routine that works best for you with what products work best for you. I have a more hydrating routine, which really cleanses my skin. I used all natural products, so I'm not putting chemicals on and impacting that acidic, you know, pH levels on my face. But if you guys don't have a routine, then I recommend getting one. But if you have worn makeup during the day, then I recommend a more cleansing routine that thoroughly clears out your pores. Because a makeup wipe isn't going to do it. It's not going to really clear out your pores. You're going to need some serum or some oil or some like um, beaded exfoliating cleanser to really kind of push that makeup out of your pores so it's... It's clean. So I'm going to list some foundations that are better for acne prone skin. They don't clog your skin, they don't irritate your skin, um, they don't, you know, cause that acne breakouts on your skin as likely as some other foundations would. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation is one. Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea found Water Foundation. Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Neutrogena Skin Clearing oil free liquid makeup is also good. I've really heard good things about that one because it has this micro clear technology um, along with this 0.5% salicylic, salicylic, I think that's the word, acid, which is supposed to help dissolve oil so it stops that clogging happening on your pores. 
and the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation, which is pretty self-explanatory. So the best tip is to be makeup free as much as you can. I really enjoy wearing makeup, but I know that I do need to give myself time for my skin to breathe and just kind of get its thing going again, get that pH H levels right. So when you don't need to wear makeup, I recommend not wearing it because if you're always wearing it, you're going, you're never giving your time, your skin time to breathe, and you do need that time. So I do recommend just being makeup free when you can. Another crucial tip is sunscreen. SPF. It's crucial for acne prone skin. Um, it prevents the lipid peroxidization process, which causes cell damage. It's like a trigger for acne, so you do want to take care of your skin. Even though, like, even sun protection is just so important in general because it stops that UV rays, cancer causing stuff happening. So you just don't want to have that match that like, ignites the fire and have that acne breakout happening. So if you do do use good sun protection, the thing I recommend is finding sunscreens that work best for you. Some sunscreens can do more harm than good, however, because of the chemicals that are used in it. I'm a big believer on organic products, so I've sourced out this organic Mandra sunscreen. And it's just this organic sun paste that protects your skin from the sun. I've heard really good reviews on this. I've, it's 100% natural, it's eco-friendly, it's amazing. So it does help protect your skin without that, adding that chemical damage to your skin. But really it's such a trial and error with you guys with your sunscreen, trialing out different sunscreens that work best for you with your skin. You're just going to have to kind of source those out yourselves. But I do recommend the organic ones because it is better for your overall skin and body health. My next tip is skincare. So I've already, like I said, gone through my skincare routine. I'll link the video down below if you guys want to check it out. But it's also trial and error with you guys as well. What products work best for your skin, your skin type. You may be combination dry, combination oily. But a number one tip to add to your skincare routine is aloe vera. Aloe vera is not only great for sunburns, it's great for skincare. So aloe vera helps reduce acne scarring, redness and swelling. And it also helps soothe those breakouts that you do have on your face. So it doesn't have that horrible, painful, burning, like, painful sensation on your face but you've got to make sure that your aloe vera is organic as well because you can have some that have those hidden nasties in there which isn't going to help your overall skin care and skin health so you want to source out on organic aloe vera so if you can you can try and get your own plant and grow it in your own backyard in a little pot and you can just cut off a leaf open it up and use that on your face there's heaps of natural face masks that you can use with aloe vera from the plant from the gel or you can get one from a tube i found this one that's 99.75 percent organic so the 0.25 percent left that isn't aloe vera is preservatives added to help keep it fresh and it's from the brand amara organics and it's basically the most um organic one i could find that wasn't you know the from the plant basically that wasn't a plant so this is the aloe vera gel that i'm using but you guys yeah, you can free free to source your own, get your own plant, whatever you want to do. Aloe vera can also help heal acne, so it's so you're less likely to get that acne scarring as well, which is really really cool. And it can also help heal deep acne scars completely, completely. So if you do want to heal those cratered, you have to be patient. Like I said, it's going to take a couple years, but it will eventually heal them up completely, which is incredible. Hallelujah. Like I said, we have a pH level on our face, so you want to use cleansers with a low pH level. So our skin naturally is acidic, so it has a thin protective layer over it called the acid mantle. But when we use harsh cleansers and soaps, it can break down this prote protective layer, which you know keeps out free radicals, bacteria, viruses, and like things that cause acne breakouts. And we're opening it up when we cleanse our skin. Choose pH level cleansers with about a 4.5 to a 6.5 so that you're not completely deteriorating that um, protective layer. And another tip I can give you is don't over cleanse your skin. I know when you have acne and things like that, we can tend to want to cleanse our skin all the time to just make it feel clean. But when you're doing that, like oil stripping, you know, 
pore tightening cleansers we're getting rid of that ph level but we're also not giving our enough our skin enough time to rejuvenate again so i recommend cleaning your like cleansing your skin morning and night okay so you're giving it time to breathe because our skin is an organ and it has its own process so just let it do its thing girl let it do its thing so that concludes all the big tips for today. The final thing I want to say guys is acne usually is a side effect from something else that's going on in our bodies. That's why I do recommend you guys changing up your lifestyle with those different things because lifestyle changes will lead to your acne clearing up because it's not usually just because you have oily skin. It's usually caused, like I said, from something else going on in our bodies, something not quite um, resonating well within us. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.